This one's going to be on a Grub2 bootloader editor. It's called KCM Grub2. And after you install it, it should be in your um, is it your system settings. It should be ing integrated into here. And um, you have to go into the startup and shutdown. And you have this uh, menu here. Okay. Uh, and here they have the, what is that, three tabs. So the first one is the general. And this is uh, the basic stuff like which one uh, distribution you want by default on boot up so if I want Kubuntu as the default that will be it um, if I want Ubuntu then I just select that one and Debian and so forth uh, what else is here this one makes more sense to me so if you, you use this one and you check this box basically your default uh, distribution that will boot in is the last one you use okay so if I use Ubuntu the last time that would be my default. If I use uh, Debian the last time, that would be my default. Uh, Kubuntu, again, that would be my default. Okay. Down here is basically if you want to, you know, boot up um, immediately without looking at the, the the grub menu, or you want to wait like 10 seconds and it'll boot into your default, uh, you know, distributions. Personally, I just leave it alone. In this tab here, the appearance, uh, you can do some stuff with Grub. So, right here in the middle, they have colors for it. So, if you want the text to be, you know, a green color, red color, whatever, you can play around with it, right? Uh, whether you want it to a, a text mode boot, you can do that. And right here, it says the Grub uh, resolution. So, this is your default Grub resolution. And we're gonna use this one in a minute, okay? For down here, you can actually create your own wallpaper uh, for your Grub2 menu because by default, I don't think Ubuntu has, you know, any background image, um, or even Kubuntu it doesn't have any background image. But you can use your your own, or you can create your own. I mean, <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do. Create it. It's actually pretty easy. So let's say I go uh, in here image and I select one of these um, it's better if you you know you edit out yourself using a image editor to have the right uh, size otherwise it's gonna scale it or, or force uh, you know the resolution or whatever and it's not gonna kinda look uh, right when you you know put into your screen but I'm giving an example here uh, what's my images oh, I'm in my pictures here so and I'm use my Tron. Uh, you can convert it to a PNG file. So name whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Grub. Um, I don't know, two two. Dot uh, PNG. Save that sucker. And the width and the height is basically whatever you had on your Grub. So ours was uh, 640. And it's 480, okay. And if you want to force a resolution, um, you know, do it here. And if you want to set it as the wallpaper right now, you can do it. So let's go apply it, okay. And again, the resolution it was this one up here, it should come by default. Um, that's it. Uh, if you want to preview it, how it look like, so let's preview this. It's not gonna look uh, exactly like it because you know our native resolution on here is different from our boot up resolution of the Grub2. Okay, so the the Grub2 is just this resolution. My resolution is much higher than this, but this is how it looks like. Right, this is how it looked like, and, and uh, you have your you know your menus like your Grub. Uh, it says Kubuntu, Ubuntu, Debian, blah blah blah. So hit Escape, and you're back here again. Uh, so that's what you can do in this option for the appearance and let's go to advanced advanced here I'm not pretty sure all these options but if you want to include some stuff or exclude something just delete it from this line uh, right here it says the normal entry so this one gives you the quiet boot the show splash screen uh, you can do that for other ones they give you suggestions here you know quiet boot blah 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 uh, ACPI some power stuff here uh, it's up to you. Uh, the thing what I'll, I'll say do here is that 
uh, by default you say something like LSB or something like that change it you know to the name of your distri distribution so I'm using Kubuntu and um, just that's all you have to do is type in the names and then after you done you done all your settings make sure you hit apply okay and you can actually apply it so let's do that might have to type it twice because I apply different stuff there there you go and now you'll do the grub uh, updating here and that's it you have um, updated your grub and now when you reboot you should see your you know your picture you should see all your other entries that you apply that's it for this program pretty easy to use if you want to edit your grub too.